Okay, I just have a quick video for Monday. Uh, not too much that came in the mail today. Well, there are a few interesting things, but um, um, I don't know. I got my stamps. I think it was Saturday I got my stamps, and I got using some of these energy development stamps on my letters. And uh, just a, that's all there is to that. And I went to the post office and got a few one cent stamps to help finish those off. Uh, this is a cool thing. These have been on eBay for quite a long time. Uh, sometimes the sellers relist them, but I didn't see anything in the completed listings. So these were a dollar a piece plus some nil kind of shipping. I don't remember, a dollar fifty for shipping or something ridiculous. But I got a complete, I, th I think it's a complete set. 2013 uh, 75th Diamond Jubilee um, Conclave um, Order of the Arrow Patch. Then I got the Spring Ordeal. Then I got the Lodge Banquet. And the Executive Committee. Order the Arrow Patches for a dollar is, is usually very unheard of. Um, these things would probably be in somebody's um, eBay store usually for about four dollars a piece and getting them for a dollar piece I figured that was a heck of a deal finally decided to do that so that's really pretty cool then I got um, picked this up at a thrift store here um, I don't even know what buttons these are yet but it was a dollar for the bag and they threw in this old um, uh, 70s 80s probably maybe even 90s I don't know uh, Mason Motel, have a good day, uh, key fob, so there's that, nothing special, but I just wanted to buy something, and then I got, um, what else, I got a couple other things in the mail here, one of these was uh, mailed, uh, the person mailing it, their name happened to be Christy Brinkley, but I don't think the actual famous Christy Brinkley lives in Ohio, but you never know, anyway, this is another Mutoscope Corporation of America, I think these were from out of arcade machines, I think is what the deal is. And this is Ozzy Nelson this time. So I got band leader Ozzy Nelson before. Obviously he did the TV show with Ozzy and Harriet and family. So that's cool. And as, as usual, they say postcard on the back. So I just need another 29 for more of the set. So that's cool. And I know I had some other things here. I didn't have any autograph cards that came in the mail. Um see what else I had here. Oh yeah, this was really weird. Um, I got this large, large envelope and I'm mailing off this NASA envelope to a guy who worked for NASA uh, Space. Um, I got this uh, Titusville, Florida envelope and it came in this ridiculously huge envelope. Um, very, very weird. But the crazy thing about it is that it's got a Canal Zone stamp on it. Uh, I looked up Canal Zone. I couldn't find out you couldn't use them. Canal Zone stamps uh, have not been used since 1979 or something like that uh, during the Carter administration when they when the can Canal Zone changed hands back to Panama or something. I'm not exactly sure what happened there, but I think it's illegal to use that 11 cent stamp there, and there's a big, huge penalty for doing that. Let me know if you know anything else. Um, I've seen a United Nations stamps. Somebody used one. The UN stamps are only available to use at certain post offices in New York. And somebody out of San Francisco used a UN stamp. Um, I believe that um, the, the rules are unclear on the um, special delivery stamps. So I just add the, the corresponding postage to that and go ahead and use that. But I don't think you're allowed to use Canal Zone. Um, so at first I thought it said Canada because it's C-A-N-A -A, and I thought it said Canada, but no, it's Canal Zone. Very, very weird. Let me know if you know anything about that stamp um, more than I do. Um, I...